The Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu, has called for support from international non-governmental organizations as well as the government agencies to tackle the humanitarian crisis in Southeast region. He said the Southeast region is facing a severe humanitarian crisis with over 268,000 internally displaced persons, IDPs, spread across 158 camps and affected communities. Kalu made the revelation while speaking at a roundtable discussion with international non-governmental organizations. Nigeria is grappling with a severe humanitarian crisis, characterized by displacement, violence, and ecological challenges. The needs assessment report presented today underscores green realities. Over 268,000 internally displaced persons are spread across 158 camps. States of Enugu State, Imo State, Abia, State Anambra and Ebay bear the brunt of this crisis with precarious living conditions, leaving many without access to clean water, access to adequate shelter, access to health care and education. In their separate remarks, stakeholders representing several relevant agencies, both public and private, expressed surprise over the overwhelming degree of ecological challenges and human crisis in the Southeast region following a video documentary presented at the roundtable discussion. The humanitarian situation in Nigeria remains dire. As of November 2024, 25 million Nigerians are projected to face acute food insecurity in the 2024 lean season with the number rising to 33 million people in 2025. Conflict, climate shocks, and inflation are key drivers. In addition to the well-known challenges in the Northeast, as we have been hearing today, rising concerns over climate-induced flooding and pockets of insecurity in the Southeast amplify the need for coordinated multi-sectoral responses. The humanitarian development and peacebuilding work of our members spans across all these regions and communities in Nigeria affected by the challenges mentioned. INGO Forum members are actively engaging in providing life-saving humanitarian assistance, promoting peace and contributing to long-term development efforts, as you will see in the reports that have been distributed by my colleagues today. We take care of about 9 million children in Nigeria, about 10 million children in Nigeria. We also have another program called grant for enterprising and employment program our handicap sir for almost a year none of this program is functional because of the outcry and the problems that we had since we are on duty four months ago we have been trying to come up with so many plans strategies to see at the 2025 budget will come up with the realities of Nigerians who are vulnerable and the poor. I assure you, Your Excellency, sir, will do everything possible to reach out by this program's design of INSIPA to see that Southeast people will really be taken care of by the It would have been an easy task if we have the available resources. Now, that poses challenges to most of our activities or services be rendered or expected to be rendered by most of the MG, uh, MDS in the country. A passionate appeal, considering what uh, His Excellency has put up in terms of awareness, because a lot of these, these things, uh, like uh, was rightly said, are not actually known by the general public in the country. It's a very, very serious, very, very serious matter that uh, should be, must be looked into and come up with strategies to actually mitigate the effect of this flooding first before we come into humanitarian uh, activities. Because the humanitarian uh, activities, I don't think it's a sustainable matter. So I think uh, we should 
more concerted effort into coming up with mitigating uh, solutions, at least to reduce drastically the effect of this flooding. The National Commission for Refugees is ready, Your Excellency, to partner and ensure that the Southeast this time around, particularly now that we are going into our budgetary uh, our discussion, we make sure that some of these issues are being captured in our 2025 uh, budget to see the, how far we can go to ensure that our people who are living in the Southeast are being considered and taken care of by the grace of God. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.